and we can certainly beat Arsenal this evening, but we need that first goal. Dare I say it, maybe even a refereeing decision from Mr Knight. More and more I see that shove. More I'm thinking, kick from 12 yards out, please. Of course, it could still go to a lot of penalty kicks tonight. They might be in for the long haul. There might not be 45 minutes left. There could be an hour and a quarter and even penalties. That's touch there from Ebersilio, the number seven. The Kekrin. Kane. Wesley Hall made sure he didn't get past him one way and another, and it's an Arsenal throw. Steve Bold. An Arsenal tradition of, of sorts in terms of a solid back four man. This Laukovic closes down, he's in! Get in! You beauty! Arsenal doze off. Laukovic didn't. 1 1. Well, again, we've just exploited their back two, and we two central defenders all over the place here. Not too sure what, sure what Martinez is doing. Is he coming off his line? I mean, Lalkovic is no, doing? no right at all to get to this ball, but he does with his pace. Martinez is all over the place. He's so slow in coming off his line. Not too sure what Miguel is trying to do. Oh, brilliant touch that from Adam Naditi and, and a lovely little ball to Lalkovic. He couldn't take it in his stride. It might not matter. That wasn't far away. Martinez flung himself to his left and not unlike the first half, just not quite enough curl on it. Naditi's done well here, hasn't he? Oh, Left-hand flank, just a little nutmeg through his defender. Gets a good ball into Lalkovic. There we talk about standing off players and allowing them a strike a goal. I can't believe the two centre-backs have stood off this far. It's a free shot. Well in, Billy Clifford. The Kekrin and DT. Got it back off Reese. And surely a free kick, yes it is. Got now to make be. something of it, let's get the ball in right here. Yeah, got to be. I just thought for a moment, again, the move had broken down, but he didn't manage to revive it and win the ball back off of Reese and then draw the foul as well. Arms all over him, easy one for the referee. And this is in a good position here. We see him just turning the ball. You see the arms of Reese. Well, a bit of shirt pulling as well. Could have gone both ways, I guess. Well, maybe that's a little bit of luck we need. Let's hope for some quality now. Hit it over the little fella. Billy Clifford with the ball in. Oh, it's a good one. It must be. Surely. Parts in the mouth trying to get him, wasn't it? How that didn't go in the back of the net. They're I gonna don't pay know. for this, Clive. If they don't take one of these chances soon, they're going to get well, up the other end and score. Well, the boys said it at half time, didn't they, in the, in the uh, studio? Look at Savile go. This is brilliant. And still going. Billy Clifford, save. Savile, still not in. And now blocked again. This is getting ridiculous. It's the most one sided 1 1 you've ever seen. There's been some great ch chances, hasn't there? Some good challenges. There's been some terrific skill. But Savile, he's had an immense game for me this evening, he's been terrific, needed the goal perhaps <laughs> to, to finish off a good performance, but it's lovely to see Chelsea keep pressing and pressing. DT, as he's doing, Conte will get the ball in, driven hard and nasty, could have easily landed at the feet of Bobby Devine, but it didn't. I tell these boys to put their foot through the ball, I don't know where all the side footing's coming from. Nor do I. Excellent football from those in blue. Just the finishing touch lacking at the moment. But Arsenal more than in the game. Possession and chances mean nothing without the goals. It's 1-1 and they could make one at any point. They don't deserve it. It won't stop them happening. Daniel Boateng, the most regular starter in Arsenal's youth team. This is a knee kick, and Chelsea have kept quiet so far, but there's only so long that'll happen. Chaloba, important cut out there because Reese was sniffing a tap in. Good position, he put himself into the right area. Just at that near post, and every single cross should beat the first man. Sometimes we give, have to give some credit to the defender. Lalkovic on the sprint again. Hasrovic knew he was there. 
And Martinez not taking any chances this time. 2010 winners hosting 2009 winners. Reese with the ball in. Easy for Todd Kane, who has slotted in at right back, which he has played plenty with the number two shirt, but he's lost out there to Mead. Could be costly, but won't be. He's got hurt there. Todd has gone down unchallenged. He's really injured. This could be a knee ligament or some such. Like, it doesn't look good for him. It gives a us chance. a chance to have a look at these. What chance that is at the far post. Should have been nailed on. We've got Danny Papo here. And Bobby Devine's ball just went across and through. Everybody somehow could have hit anyone and gone in. And then after it, great run from Saville. Clifford Sidefoots again, easily saved there twice. Maybe a shove. Well, he does well here. George doesn't look pretty. Clifford really needs to keep this one on the floor. Is that a foul? No, I don't think so. I think that's a good defensive challenge. Four added minutes separating us from an extra 30 here. What an opportunity it is, though, for somebody, isn't it? Is there one more creative chance for Chelsea? We've seen a lot in this game so far this evening. Is there any more? Just one more, you suggest, maybe here. Adam and Dieti, two in the middle. This is Lalkovic, surely! Oh, you beauty! 91st minute! Didn't bring him off, glad he didn't bring him off. Two for Lalkovic, two for Chelsea, and Arsenal surely are beaten. Well, we asked for it, didn't we? We just asked if there was one more burst of opportunity for Milan Lalkovic. Didn't he finish this well? Keeps a cool head, drops his shoulder, good attacking play as well by Nditi, who I rightly say Ben has done ever so well since he came on. But Milan Lalkovic, the coolest of heads, just a great first touch which sets up the opportunity to drag it onto his left foot and just slop it past the goalkeeper. No chance for him down to his left hand side. Well, surely, surely, after all the opportunities, we can tie the game up now. But he's not feeling the hamstring now. Arsenal look utterly dejected, and well, they might. They don't deserve extra time, Arsenal. They still could get it because this. That was scored, what, just past half a minute into the first of four, so there's still three and a half minutes of football to play here. Benny Kafobe. Oh, even more concentration now, Ben. You know, don't go Harry Carey, don't go chasing the ball when you don't need to. Keep a good shape, concentrate. Sliding in, Billy Clifford. And he's got back well, Billy, but I thought he got out of position. He's just saying to the rest of his back four, squeeze up a little bit more. But he can't go willy nilly if the rest of them are not coming with him. But he gets back well. Some defending to do now. Again, say it again concentration. Jamal Blackman might have a big part to play in the rest of the game. Arsenal corner. Loopy one in there. Out comes Blackman. Superb. Good grab amongst the bodies. Well, he's a big lad. As you say, six foot six, and including his hands, eight foot tall. I think he should take those as well, and he does it superbly. A yellow card for taking, taking his shirt, shirt off. off. <laughs> I don't think that'll worry him too much, but isn't that a silly rule? Who wants to see him without the shirt on anyway? The joyless world of football officiating. As Eastin Conte, not in any hurry to take the throw. 93 on the clock. And a foul, that's absolutely perfect on Adam and DT, who have done really well. Certainly has, but I think he's had a super game since he came on, and we always say, don't we, if he come on, make an impact. He's certainly done that. And that's a hopeful ball forward, which... Don't mind while it's down here. No, but he's, he's, he's offside, Lalkovic, and the one thing you didn't want him to be was offside. Yeah, let that one run out of play, let them have a throw in so we can squeeze up and the free kick always lets them out. Mm. 
more worries here. Miguel is up from centre back to supplement the attack. Tuxanike couldn't quite find him. 94 on the clock now. Great challenge by Nathaniel Chola by that. It's one of the best tackles he's made that whole evening. Oh, there's a blow of the whistle there, I think. Some of the fans kind of here thought that was it. That's where he wants the throwing and taking from the right position. Mr Knight, what's going on here? We're going to have a Chelsea change. Confusion there, I think the referee looks to be clear with what he's doing, but Chelsea substitution just to break things up. Well, Lalkovic was going to come off for Nkumu. That was the call earlier. It didn't happen, and thank goodness it didn't. Certainly, Arshan Shinkumu's on now. That'd certainly be a question, won't it, for Doma afterwards? Especially if the score remains the same, of course. Nearly there. Nearly, but not quite. McEachran was superb in the first half tonight. A little bit quiet, has to be said, in the second. As is Dean Conte, now be sensible. There's a corner flag down there, boy, off you go. No, it's a cross, and it almost worked out as well for either Divine or DT. There's the whistle. A Milan double has put Chelsea into round five of the FA Youth Cup. Big grin. His speed troubled Arsenal all night. His finishing has put them out. And the best team won, Clive Walker. Well, I was going to say, it's a, just been a wonderful performance and, and so pleasing at the end, Ben, to get that goal that, that takes us through because we certainly deserved it. We were the better side. I don't think Arsenal offered enough. It wasn't an Arsenal side that I thought was going to... I thought they would give us a lot more problems. They didn't do that. The boys played really, really well and so pleasing that they didn't have to go to extra time and penalty because they thoroughly, thoroughly deserved the win. Two goals from Milan Lalkovic, some great performances there. George Savile and others can be very pleased, as will Dermot Drummy be. A match that Chelsea bossed and one they deserved to win. They won it eventually by two goals to one.